Joe is the owner of Joe's Deli, and Marcos looks at him as a father figure of sorts. Um, he's given him, in comparison to what he had back back in Mexico, he's given him a piece of the American dream. You know, a better a better life. Lainey is a perfect combination of peace and fire, if you will. Like she has this, uh, she'll hug you, but she can cut you if you if you rub it the wrong way. Uh, I think Marcos looks at her as a bit of a sister because they share that common bond, which is Joe. He's been influential in both of our lives. The revolutionaries are trying to overthrow the government because they're 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 trying to they're representing the people you know they're defending the people the rule change is that this year government officials are no longer off limits so it throws an additional wrench into the machine which really complicates matters it's really uh it's a thrill ride this year because nobody's safe if you went out on Purge Night, if you were so daring, you would uh, sort of see what you might see on a Hollywood Boulevard on a Halloween night. People in masks, makeup. But the exception is these people are armed uh, to kill. And it's extremely terrifying. Joe Dixon is the character I play. Joe is a, uh, he's a, a man who's middle-aged, who's been through quite a lot in his life and has settled into owning a deli, a neighborhood deli, um, and services the community uh, with sort of a mom and pop store in this one neighborhood in Washington, D.C. In the not too distant future, our government has, has instituted legislation that makes all crime legal for a 12 hour period. Um, it seems that the majority of, of the crimes that, that we address in these movies are violent, violent crimes, interpersonal crimes. Um, but I'm sure that robbery and various other mischief kind of runs rampant as well. Um, but for that 12 hour period, people are free from prosecution to be able to purge themselves of these darker impulses. The rule change this year on Purge um, has made it legal or has made politicians and public figures with a rating of 10 or below, I'm not exactly sure what the actual number there is, but it's made more public figures that were immune from the Purge or were, were, were off limits to the Purge have made them now fair game for the Purge. Um, and I think uh, that was enacted by our shadow conspiracy who are trying to eliminate opposition, political opposition, to the purge itself. Did you know that Hugh Jackman almost had a cameo as Wolverine and Spider-Man? But his costume got lost. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos or click on the playlist for more trailers.